And to our main feature story today, we go with the premiere of Anikola Akbo, Rise of the Spectre, just around the corner. The director and two of the cast, Shola Shavuali, and newly introduced Owobo Ogunde, son of the theatre legend, Hobart Ogunde, speak on creating a six-pack sequel for one of the biggest Nollywood productions of the year 2022. Take a look. Setting the release date finally for the six-part series of Anikola Akbo, Rise of the Spectre is a final relief for filmmaker Kule Afalayo, who has worked really hard to create what he has described on many occasions as a phenomenal project. A moment for Asia. So put him like when he comes out. You're in the process of creating something. Of course, you get excited, you get anxious, you get all of that. And then after, he's, and you'll say, oh, once this is done, I'll be relieved. But <laughs> after it's done, you're like, hey, so how do I take it to the next? Mm -hmm. You know, just like uh, as soon as we finish, when we were filming this scene, there'll be this show, I said, this is all I'm doing for the year. After this, I'm not doing anything again. <laughs> but in November, I got restless. And I said, actually, I can shoot one small film before the next one. And I shot that in November. And then I'm like, actually, we've not written the script for season two, but I can start prepping for season two. Right. And then I started commissioning to say, look, I know we're going to do war. Even though the script is not re written. I said, so let's start making props for war and this and all of that. So that is how creative mind you know, are wired. Um, this is just another one. Oh. And, but I am really excited because this is my first series, right? And I've always wanted to, not like I wanted to prove something to anybody or I owe anybody explanation, but I've wanted to prove to the world that something of this standard, something this beautiful can actually come from the continent. Look, you can say African cinema, but when you're saying African cinema, I'll say Nigeria takes like 70% of that African cinema. One, in terms of the number of content we put out there and in terms of representation globally. And that is why a Netflix will say, oh, this is an African show. Well, primarily we we're shooting this for Africa, but then you are releasing in 190 countries all around the world. While the story, which started in the 2022 feature Anikolakbo, focuses more on the Saro character and his lover, Arolake, this new series introduces new characters and actors, and one of them is the Bashanro character played by Wubo Ogunde, the son of the legendary king of Madrid Theatre. As expected, his thoroughbred from being part of the Ogunde dynasty, but moved away from the sudden death of the legend. Coming back into the fray means he has to first deal with the pressure of being the son of a legend. Hey. Yes, of course. Um, in fact, I think um, after we met and, and he mentioned it, and, and he's quite right when he first told me, I just, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Very funny. Um, because when my father passed in 1990, I was working with him. I left school to work with him. And, and I was there, and the, the, the plan was I was going to be his successor. And, but that never materialized because he passed um, what we would consider suddenly. And, and after that, I actually, uh, well, I, I was here for another two years working with National Troop, et cetera, and then I traveled. But when I traveled, the reason I actually traveled was that I gradually kind of fell out of love because when he passed, it was like he closed that chapter because I never really got everything that I wanted from him. And I didn't feel that I had everything that I needed to continue. So I, I went off it. And when I met him, he brought a lot of the history because we share quite a lot of experiences together growing up in, the, in a house of legend. And when he mentioned that, and he came to that 
conclusion pretty quickly within an hour of us meeting he sounded you know the idea so if you have never met before i've never even watched the first anikulaku at that time so he used to tell you that i don't re i knew nothing so of course i would laugh but then when i read the script the next thing he did was i read the script i knew straight away this is not a joke and if i'm going to come back there is there will never be a better stage than this i knew that from just reading the script from and watching the first film so then it was am i going to come or not um i struggled with that at least 50% of the people that i run the idea past said no don't do it um and one of the things i struggled with is exactly that people will compare you with your father how are you going to deal with that um of course in the end i had to move past that i was asked actually a question earlier on and i'm just reflecting now um i think if i look back um what is my favorite bit in all of this actually i think my favorite bit is his genius idea to have my dad's trademark look which actually initially i didn't like but looking back it's a genius idea because it it transformed for me the character the way that i come across and the way that i you know that everything uh, uh, kind of happened in the end i think that's a key decision and looking back now actually that's my favorite bit So the Shabola's character Awaro grew a little more into the spotlight in the series and her big trait of independence and being woman of strength could not be overlooked. She believes that it further buttresses the argument that women have always been powerful even before the western civilization and she hopes this can inspire today's young women to become whatever they wish. Determination. That's one thing. You are determined to be who you are. <clears throat> this is where I want to get to. and no distraction and you believe in yourself that hard work will take you anywhere there's no corner corner there's no shortcut you just have to go all the way i want to get there i want to get there but not in another look me i'm beautiful it's hard work um that's what i want to do let's go guys three more seats to knock out broader and touch on a bit of history including the friction between the Oyo kingdom and Edo community and the religious crusade during the spread of Islam in Yoruba land that bit of history of Elias says he got from the almost forgotten divinations of Yoruba gods and some old eulogies that is always embedded with stories from history real custodian of history is actually ifa is odufa because all the orikis in the world all the orikis of individuals and the different houses and the different ethnics are all in ifa right i don't know much about ifa right i'm not uh, i don't do religion but then um for me knowledge if you really want to acquire knowledge you need to understand you need to read different things all right um the ede bit with the is embracing islam is true the f- islam actually came according to history came through ede so they were the first to em- embrace islam and then it spread you know so that was not something that that's part of history as a matter of fact it was when it was written and then the writer now I and I'm like okay that's actually true you know and then there are quite a number of things that um if you go to i mean and you can ask people who are custodians of ifa or you know the babalao and and all of that when you say babalao now people would think they are juju <laughs> people babalao are custodians <laughs> of ifa they are not juju people and these are knowledgeable you know scholars when you ask them and then if they check the odru 
and they will say, oh, ni ba kon, on rumi la lo si bi ba, o she ba, o she ba, o she ba, o she ba. They want lo si le kon. Then they will mention all of the different ede. They will mention all the different um, um, stops and houses and villages and town in Yoruba kingdom. It is all there. So anybody who wants to do anything, I mean, and I said this, and I'm sure I've mentioned this to you before, that for us, every content we do, we aim at achieving three things. One, we want to educate. Two, we want to inform. Actually, four things. Three, we want to preserve. And four, we want to entertain. Nikulakbo, the rise of the spectre, continues the stories of Saru and Arulake, both now walking separate paths, and it chronicles the consequences of their action on some individuals and some of the communities they pass through. Ah, 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 ah.